Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we are here in Riga, Latvia. This is one of my old stomping grounds. I used to work here quite often back, back about a decade ago and I'm loving to see the changes that have happened in Riga over the last decade. And today what we have for you are kind of tips and five kind of tips and overall ideas and things you should know before you come to Riga because it is well worth visiting. I know a lot of people come here to party because that's the thing I'll talk about but there's a lot more to just cheap drinks, cool clubs and casinos here all right. So let's get started. Now my first tip for you when you're coming here to Riga is realize it's the architecture you're coming from. You got the black heads behind me which is really cool and you have historic buildings like that around town but for me it's actually the Art Nouveau buildings that you have from you know the early 20th century Century that are here that are just really really cool to take in and you walk around and yes you see the gargoyles you see the cool you know art add-ons that Art Nouveau has and you have that here and there's a reason why this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site it's because of the fantastic architecture so when you go around you'll see the three brothers building people like and yes you will see the cat on top of the building there that it'll tell you the story that oh the guy didn't get into the guild so they pointed the butt at them and then they let him in and they switched it back and I've been hearing that story for years you do have that but you go around and you you see some really amazing architecture here in the old town and if you're walking down and you take in the churches that are here you know the cathedral st jacob st peter's it is truly amazing to see all these things it really is this is a wandering city if you get here so make sure you do do that and also if you want to see some of the more historic things out there yes you can go to the Swedish gates and see the last of the uh, of the city walls that are here but honestly walking around the town the, the architecture is the really main drawing point for non party tourists when you do come here and because the second thing you should know is this really is a good party town I mean that was one of the reasons we came here for work is because you could come here and you could have fun all night long I mean they party all night here in Riga and it can be fun with tons of bars tons of restaurants restaurants, casinos, go-go dancers, all kinds of stuff and crazier things as well and you can have that here and so you'll see a lot of people coming on the weekends for like stag parties or bachelor parties here to party and do stuff so heads up on the weekends I think that's probably the biggest safety issue I would say for you here is watch out for the drunks late night and it's not just on the weekends it's also during the week too so just a heads up but it is a really cool party town so do come here with the idea of you know what if I'm looking for a cheap place to go with my buddies for a weekend this could be a really fun place to come okay now even though I said you know, there's the architecture and there, there's the party side of it there's also some pretty cool museums when you're here and for me the most moving one is the one behind me here the occupation museum which goes to the occupation the Nazi occupation and the Soviet occupation here in Latvia and you really get to see what it was like and one of the things for me is Latvians don't miss words they're not big into small talk so they get right to the point and that museum gets right to the point okay and you'll see that when you're in there and be like wow man that this is horrible yes it was and they do a really good job of that but the thing is there's other cool museums around town there's a whole bunch of history museums you can see of course for Riga and Lafayette in general there's a museum for Art Nouveau you understand why with all the buildings there's art and graphic design there's all kinds of really cool museums throughout the city and if you go outside the city you can go to the ethnographic museum it's basically they take in buildings and stuff from around Lafayette and put it in this huge outdoor park you can go through and that's the thing is Lafayette in general is an outdoorsy thing lakes beaches nature kind of stuff and you go and see that and so if you have the chance go spend some time out there to get a feel for the rest of Lafayette because a lot of people would they just come to Riga and there's more stuff to see you can go to Vince Pills, you can go down to Leopaya you can go to Segulda and, and see the castle the castle ruins there and stuff like that there are some things to see outside of Riga and so that can give you a little taste of it when you do go there also one thing I like to do is when you come into the bus station on the you'll, you'll see the central market right behind it and going in there always would take me back to like what it was used to be like back in the day here it is kind of a cool thing to walk through it I mean it's gotten a little bit nicer over the years but it still is one of those kind of quintessential things you should do just to walk through grab some old-school candies or or go and get you know your meat if you're gonna be staying here and, and that can help you out and that kind of leads into the accommodation issue when you are here here in Riga there's a lot of hotels but there's also a lot of apartments and every time I've come here I've actually stayed in apartments and you see that and they're like wow the apartments there's nice apartments at a good price yes on the weekends the prices go up just like everywhere that's popular for a weekend destination but my wife and I we have a huge apartment for us and the boys brand spanking new like man I wish I had this apartment it was 99 euros a night 
I mean, for a, an amazing apartment right on the main pedestrian street, you can't beat it. And so you have really good prices when you're staying here. When you're going out to eat here, you have really good prices too. So don't let the prices or anything kind of scare you off because it's not bad here at all. You can have a good time at a good price, which is why a lot of people do come here. Um, the next thing I would say is if you're going to come here, you're going to need to eat, right? Well, you need to go to Lido, okay? Now, Lido is basically a chain now, a bunch of little kind of buffet style Lafayette cuisine restaurants, but it has that hokey, you know, old world uh, motif inside. But there's one, the, the main one has got, it's a whole center basically with the windmill and stuff near the river and, and, and you have them. But the thing is, that's what you have to have when you come here. You go have the shajlik, it's, you know, cubed chicken or pork on a skewer, like a shish kebab we call it in the US. That's awesome. Also, you can see that the, it looks like Petto Bismol soup. It's cold borscht soup in the summer. You can have that. And, and it's just like a nice atmosphere when you are here. So definitely go eat at Lido when you are here. And there are a bunch of other restaurants that are good and nice outdoor cafes in the summer months. Okay, things like that. And I guess that would lead us into like the weather issue. Now in the summer, look, I'm here in June, okay? And I'm wearing this. You see the people behind me. It's not like a super hot destination, let's say. July and August are the best times. Um, I will say in the winter months, it can get bitterly cold. I was here once with my buddy Dave and it was like January and we went up St. Peter's. We went up to the top one of the churches and they, they let you take an elevator up. Always a good one, okay? And we took the elevator up and the guy's like, are you sure you want me to I can leave the door open. You guys can run out, run back in. We're like, no, we'll be fine. He's like, all right. He goes, I'll go down and come right back up. He went down and came back up. By the time he got back up, my friend and I were huddling with each other on the floor in front of the elevator. So it can be bitterly cold in the winter here. So I would recommend making this more of your summer, spring, fall destination versus a winter destination, okay? One thing you should try when you're going to have your party times and stuff like that is you should try Riga Balsams. It's like it's a black liquor they have here and they'll make many drinks, different drinks with it. It's an acquired taste, but it's kind of a traditional gifting drink when you take it out of the country. So that's something you might wanna try. Now let's look at transportation. Getting to Riga is actually pretty easy. You have the cheap airlines that'll come in here. You've got buses that'll come from Tallinn is four and a half hours away. Vilnius is about four hours away. You can get pretty much anywhere in the country within three hours, three to four hours. Because Latvia, though you think it's small because you only think of Riga, it's actually kind of a good sized country, you know, bigger than the Netherlands or Belgium or something like that. And so you, you, it takes a little bit of time, but it is mostly buses. There are some train lines that go places. For example, you want to take the train to Moscow or St. Petersburg or Minsk, you can leave from here, no problem. So that's easy. But I feel going around the country, your best bet is taking the buses. And if there's like an express bus, take the express bus. It'll be a lot faster, okay? I'm just giving you the heads up on that one. Um, but overall, I've always enjoyed coming to Riga, and for me, it's more walking around the city, taking in the architecture, you know, laughing at the cat, seeing the Blackheads buildings, going to the Occupation mu mu Museum. The Executive Arts Museum is totally cool too. There's a lot to offer here, and that's one thing. In general, in the Baltics, there's a lot to offer, but not a lot of tourists come here, except they're gonna go party for a day or something like that. So come and enjoy Riga, come and enjoy Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, the whole Baltics. It is a great place. Anyway, I will leave you with that and I'll say bye from Riga. If you wanna learn more, some things you should know before you come to Latvia, maybe some tips on the Baltics, like a Baltic itinerary tour, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions, and we hope you have a great time in Riga. But whether you like architecture, culture, or partying, you will. Bye from Riga.